Suzanne Lyons here and welcome back. This is my 10 tip series on pitching yourself and your project in the entertainment industry or as far as I'm concerned, any industry. I mean, to me, pitching is something that I think we all need to master. Uh, I don't care. And in any walk in life, in any facet in life, at any level in life, you know, becoming a master at pitching and enrollment is, is to me just one of the keys to the universe. Like Agreed. I said before, I swear to God, it's like, I think it's the key to success. I really do. Full hearted. Honestly, honestly. Mm -hmm. And as I promised all you guys, I have uh, the uh, executive um, in charge of membership uh, for Ink Tip Magazine, Jared Wynn. And Jared's going to explain a little bit more about that. It's not just a magazine anymore. It's like it's grown well, leaps and bounds, and it's doing. It's offering so much to writers, and of course for producers and investors and everybody who want to check in with writers. So I'll get Jared to explain that in a second. But let me just tell you what number nine is about. This one uh, is on. This tip is on called follow through, and follow up. And I think this is where we get sloppy. And this is an area that I know a lot of times, oh, wow, you know, they've got my script. Oh, this is so exciting. They have to read my script. You know, I've taken that action. I've sent it in or whatever. This is so exciting. Or they, you know, want to see my composer's, you know, a CD or, or my DP reel or whatever it is. And then we kind of go, oh, oh, wow, they're not calling. What's going on? Like, we, we forget that follow-up. And I think this is where we get sloppy, and that's what I wanted to kind of, you know, re-emphasize this one and talk about this one a little bit. I know that, you know, Ildi last week and tip number uh, seven shared a little bit about, you know, the follow-up and the importance of that. And this kind of, you know, I think today is about really emphasizing that and expanding on that and really taking a, a longer look at what that means. And I think this is the guy because, I mean, this is what, you know, Ink Tip you know, is all about is, is kind of training their writers to kind of do a lot of this stuff as well. So, and doing it with their writers. So I just want to, uh, that's why I have Jared here because I'm, I'm a, I've been, I've been a, a fan for a long time. I've been a, a member receiving this for a long, long time, actually, oh, as a producer. Years. Many, many, yeah. many years, actually. So I thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's an you're, honor. You're very welcome. Privilege. You're very welcome. So yeah, let's so let's just jump right in. Go ahead. So quick overview of Inktip. Yes. We're an online database of scripts and writers. Producers who qualify for access, and that's my job, is, is verifying who qualifies. Producers are able to log in, and they're able to click little buttons and see scripts that meet their criteria. They're able to say, for example, I want a female-driven thriller that would cost less than $2 million to make. They click the buttons, they look at all the scripts in the database that meet those criteria. God. We also publish a magazine, we put log lines in the magazine, we put the poster of a movie that was found through Ring Tip on the cover of that magazine. Brilliant. And, and uh, this year, uh, so far, as, as of now, as of, as of the date that this camera, that, that this is rolling. Yeah, yeah we're no, November 1st right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so far 25 films have been made this year alone that were found through Ring Tip. Since I've been working well, with Inktip... Well, say, well, hold, sorry, uh, 25, what'd you say? 25 feature films have shot this year so far that were made from scripts found on Inktip. Wow. Yeah, 25. I had no idea. Oh. I swear to God, I had no idea. I think we need to tell more people. I think a lot I, of people I, I, don't I, have any idea. I really did not have it. No, I... I I don't, my guess was not even anywhere. I just didn't realize. Oh, my God. <laughs> when I put the newsletter together and, and I put the option announcements in there, I'll, you know, I'll say so-and-so, option such-and-such. Such. I see that from time to time. I read that, but it never occurs to me that it adds up to that. Yeah. Problem is I have too many produced feature films that have been found through Inktip. I only want to do one produced film in every newsletter. Got and it. we're we're I We've got it. too many. <laughs> that's a good thing. That, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's a good problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good, good problem for our writers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> one problem that writers have, however, is yes, is, okay. is is they have this misconception that when somebody reads their script, there's this idyllic, perfect world where producers read their script and get back to them with a yes or a no yeah. within a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. And and at the studio level, we do have that perfect world. But at the studio level, we don't pitch. Our agents do it. That's right. A lot of the time. That's yeah. right. Or so, we've got a contact in there or we've created a relationship in there or whatever, bingo. you know? Bingo. Watch wow. the rest of the 10 tips. You'll hear a lot about that. Yeah. And, and by the way, make sure you go back and you see Ilda's uh, uh, segment precedent to yeah. this one. Uh, very important because now we get to the follow-up. Uh, a writer, uh, he's a friend of mine. He actually has my number. Not every writer has my number. Yeah. A gentleman called me up. He's a good friend of mine. He's yeah. been an Inktip member forever. Uh, uh, his last uh, uh, feature film, uh, produced feature film credit, was distributed by New Line Cinema. 
he's a longtime ink tip writer, uh -huh. and it's been a few years since he had any success. And he was, he was a little bit down, and he was wondering what was going on, and he was trying to pick up the slack where his agent left off when his agent mm -hmm. retired. Mm -hmm. And he went to the ink tip pitch and networking summit where we had 300 producers in a room. Oh, my sitting God. Sitting at tables listening to pitches from writers. That's right. I spoke at that a couple years. You, you guys did. put on that summit. You did. We want to bring you out to the next one. Oh, that forgot. So that know. was fantastic. Thank you. I had a ball, by the way. Oh, it is yeah. so fun. I, I, I don't sleep for three days straight. Oh, no, it was hundreds of people. The, yeah. Hundreds. Yeah. I mean, we have classes for writers. Yeah. We have pitches. This writer pitched to, I think, 50-plus producers. 16 of them requested the script. Oh, my God. So then he calls me two and a half months later. And he says, he says, Jared, I sent the script out to 16 people. It's been two and a half months, and he's doing this. Uh -huh, I can see him doing uh -huh. this in his office Very at home, good. twiddling his thumbs. I know where you're going with it. I love it. Go ahead. He said, he said, why didn't they call me? This is so good. When am I going to hear back from them? And, and, and both of these oh, questions missed the mark so thoroughly. And, and, and unfortunately, my friend's name is Mark. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they missed Mark, the mark. Mark, you know who you are, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was trying to be careful. He was trying to be courteous. He knows that, that we don't want to scare producers off. And right. part of the allure to producers is that oh. they don't get called by writers who look at their material. But this was one where the producers requested the script. Hello. He sent the script in. His logline was good. His pitch was good. Remember, watch the rest of the series. Yeah. Logline, pitch, very important. The whole thing. His logline and pitch were good. He, he got to the point where the, the script was submitted, and then he sat back and he waited. Uh -huh. And he didn't uh -huh. understand how important follow-up is. So here's, here's the deal. We follow up for two reasons, and believe it or not, and this will shock people who have never really contemplated this before, yeah. but one of the reasons we follow up is to make sure that the script gets read. Yeah, yeah. So, so rule yeah. number one, you follow up to make sure the script gets read. Producers... Suzanne knows this. She's yeah. a producer. She might have 400 scripts yeah. in a backlog Sitting waiting to there. get read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and I believe it. And 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 I think that you probably look at one of them and look at the stack and you think, now now, which one was I supposed to read next? That's right. And it's the follow up that reminds That's you. That's right. So you pick the one out that you're supposed to read. Yeah. Now. So true. A so writer true. pitches you two and a half months ago. Yeah. He's got a brilliant idea. Nobody's ever done it before. You said, oh my gosh, why has nobody done that before? Can I have a glass of duh? Can I have that script? Yeah. And then a week later, you've read so many ideas and scripts and stories. I've then. forgotten. You've forgotten. You yeah. don't even know what it's about. I get so many calls a day. Forget about it. I've forgotten. Right. 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 Okay. That, that's it. So rule number one, you actually have to follow up to make sure that people read the material yeah. because there's... Uh, there, there's a memory thing, there's a social obligation. Producers will read it because they're expected to read it. They've mm -hmm. got too much to read, too much to do. Producers mm -hmm. have lives, they mm -hmm. have families, they have sets to visit, locations to scout, yeah. they have uh, partners to meet with, lawyers to meet with, they have banks to meet with, they have things to do. So when they're looking for that next property, yeah. they've got more than they can read. And map everything on to whatever your case is. It might not be a writer. You know what I mean? It may not be, you may not, it could be the composer that sent me something and didn't follow through. Mm -hmm. It could be that DP who sent me his reel or whatever. Yeah. The makeup artist who, who you know, yeah. so it's all, it's a just make, make sure you're mapping it on or to whatever aspect of life you, or industry you're in. It doesn't even have to be the entertainer. The actor. Oh. Oh my a lot God. Of actors. That's the worst. Actors, That's the worst. They, there's, you don't, there's no follow up. There's no follow up. And actors submit their headshot, and yes, you're very attractive, but you know, there's a lot of you in LA. A year later? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my movie's maybe a year later, and I remember, damn, who was that person that I know was great? Hit? I can't remember. Mm. Like, there's got to be some sort of follow up. Mm. This is so great. It's like, yeah, if you said, you know, the ball's in your court, remember, you're the president and CEO of your company. Always. I don't care if you're the makeup artist. You are the president and CEO of your company. You're an entrepreneur. When you set that action plan and say, can I call you in two weeks to check up on, well, you know, if you've read my script, call me in two weeks to check up. Yes. Follow through. It's professional. It's done in every business in the world except the entertainment industry. And believe it or not, if you say you're going to follow up and you don't follow up, you will actually be remembered for that. You oh, call yeah. the person six months later and they think to themselves, Wow, wasn't I supposed to hear from this person a while ago? And they think less of you. Yeah, so it's, it's so true. Important. Oh, it's very so important. true. And the other thing too is keep keep them appraised of anything. Like, let's say for example, you want them to read your script, and in the meantime, you know, let's say you're going to call two weeks later, but in the meantime, you win that award. Mm, you win you the you know the L.A. Film Festival. Uh, no, L.A. What was it called the La Femme Film Fest, uh, whatever, and you win it. 
call and let me know in the meantime. Guess yeah. what? Remember that script I gave you? It just won the you know such and such an award, mm -hmm. or if it you know, win you know the best actor award or whatever. Let you know, keep them appraised of that. Maybe send them a note, you know, uh, uh, or whatever. If something else is that like so. So create, keep the relate, keep it alive. Is what keep I'm trying alive. to say. Keep the conversation alive. Keep it alive. You know, it's done in every business. It's professional. It's what professionals do. Just because you're the writer, the actor, the makeup artist, doesn't make you any less the professional than the producer. You know, I think the I mean? only reason people in film don't do it like they do in other businesses Why? is because they just think that so much money goes into making a film that it's automatic. That that these producers must be that organized, and it just isn't uh -huh. human nature when there are this many people looking for work, looking for jobs, trying to sell their script, trying to get cast in a film, trying to get an opportunity, a gig, trying to get an open door, to get that open door. Yeah. So many people knocking on the door. You open the door, figuratively speaking, you look outside and yeah. there's just a, a, a mob of people. You're going to remember the one that you've already spoken to before, period. Exactly. So when you get that pitch, and the pitch is good enough that you get in, you need to follow up yep. so that they remember you and so that they actually read your script or look at your headshot or yeah. watch your reel. Exactly. Now the second thing, and, and this is this is very important the second reason we follow up is precisely that just as you said it's to keep the door open yeah it's to keep ourselves in their memory in that relationship so, so let me give you a couple of a uh, couple of steps to follow yeah. up okay the very first one is seed the follow-up seed s-e-e-d seed, -E -E seed the follow-up like yeah basically when you submit the script yeah. and and by the way make sure you watch the the previous installments in yeah. this series of tips uh, your pitch was good, your logline was good, you got to the point where you submitted the script already, you submitted the script already. Yeah. In the process of submitting the script, you see the follow-up. You say, thank you so much for taking a look at my script. Exactly. I'll call you in a week. Yeah. Now they might say, you know what, I'm going to be busy, I'm sure. going to be in yeah. Denmark. Counter-offer anytime. Sure. Oh, sure, so you counter-offer. Yeah. And take notes, by the way. If they say they're going to be in Denmark, then say, oh, that's great. Two weeks? A month? A month. Perfect. I'll ring you in a month. Very good. And then you write it down. This is and good. And when you ring them in a month, you say, how is Denmark? Because you're keeping that door open. Exactly. So the very first thing you do is you see the follow-up. And then just as Suzanne said a moment ago, you actually follow through. This is, this is so important. Keep your promises. You said you were going to call in a week. Call in a week. If you have a cold in a week, take a whole lot of Benadryl or something. You know, <laughs> Get on the phone for an hour, clear your voice up, and just do it. Exactly. I mean... You do so many things over the course of the day that are so difficult. I personally think that, that, that doing crunches at the gym is harder than calling somebody. But at the moment when I look at that phone, sometimes I'm just not in the mood. Scary. i got to get in the mood. Yeah. Sometimes it's scary. And look at the phone for You do whatever it takes. Pinch yourself. Keep your word. Mm -hmm. You know, in every other industry in the world, this is kind of common practice. And for mm -hmm. some reason here, we get sloppy. Yeah. Keep your word. Call when you said you were going to call. Bingo. Do what you said you were going to do. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. You keep your word. Yeah. Your word is all we got. Next tip, by the way, uh, as you keep your word, you're doing that because you're building a relationship. That's Continue right. to build that relationship. Take notes. When you speak with somebody, mm -hmm. if they go to Denmark, write down Denmark. Right. If they say, I've got my daughter's piano recital. Later on, just yeah. Say, hey, how's the family? Exactly. You might not want to say specifically, how's the daughter? Yeah. But but say, how's Unless the family? Unless you've got something in common. What happens if your daughter is also doing piano lessons? Oh, you know there what I mean? Go. There's that, that there's that thing Ask where you're... for a referral where, where you, to a piano yeah, I mean, you're, 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 yeah, <laughs> But you're being present in the conversation. So you're actually listening that that person has like a life. Oh, my God. Well, my daughter's doing piano, too. How fun is that? You know, then there's that something in common. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, we're not even listening. Mm. So we don't even know if there is a background of relatedness or anything in common. So this yeah. is so great. Any final little tip before we sign off? Uh, let's give a final little tip. Um, um, as you do it, you want to be courteous. You want to be polite and professional. You want to follow through. Uh, 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 the most important thing, I can't emphasize this enough, is to keep the door open. If, if, uh, if you follow up with the producer and they say no, they're going to say no, say thank you. Don't say, well, you're missing out. Don't push. Just mm -hmm. say thank you because you want to keep that door open. Sure. What you're hoping is ideally yeah. that they will call you up and say what else you got. Yeah. Or a year later, you can follow up with them and say, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, I just wrote a new script, and it's won in the screenwriting contest because then the exactly. last court. You want to keep that door open. Keep the door open. You pitch 150 producers just to get 10 scripts read. Mm -hmm. You get 150 scripts read just to get one option offer, exactly. and you get 10 options just to get a produced feature credit. It's a numbers game, so you got to keep it 
as many doors open exactly. as possible. Ongoingly. Ongoingly. That's so brilliant. Oh my yep. God, That's guys, my you guys tip. are blessed. I, I have just had the most amazing guests come and join me, and Jared here today with this incredible. This advice is worth worth gold. It's like what I said when, when Ildi was here. I said it's like diamonds and gold constantly coming out of her mouth, and I feel the same way today with you, Jared. It's Thank just you. been so valuable. Oh my God, this has been incredible. Boy, oh boy, I hope you guys are not taking this for granted. This is like really something, and these guys have driven to get here. So, I mean, it's been, and spending their time to be here. So, well, I'm just so appreciative. If I may say, it's an honor, and thank you well, for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank This mm -hmm. is so nice. Wow, that was so sweet. So, uh, AFM is coming up in a couple of days. I hope to see a bunch of you there. Don't forget, prepare, get ready for AFM, practice your pitch, get get organized about that whole thing. Uh, do the research on the people that, are going, that you think you're going to be meeting or that you've already got meetings planned with. Yes. Um, get all that stuff organized, and it's only a couple of days away. That how fun is this? Also, my indie film producing class that I mentioned earlier is happening November 12th and 13th. To get online for that, that's flashforwardhollywood.com. Also, as I mentioned, uh, and don't forget, I'm also a partner in mastertalentteachers.com. And I do want to mention that from time to time because it's for the actors. And I know we talk a lot about the writers, but for the actors and voiceover artists and dancers and performers out there, they're also mastertalentteachers.com is worth its weight in gold, speaking mm -hmm. of gold. So that's it for today. Um, do I have any homework for you? I guess just to be you know, prepared mm -hmm. for AFM and to take this seriously enough that when this does happen, where you get to end up having a script in there or a meeting or whatever, follow up, follow up, follow up. I will see you guys on Thursday for tip number 10. Oh no, we're coming to a close. How sad. Tip number 10 on Thursday. And thanks again, Jared, for joining me. And uh, my name is Suzanne Lyons and have a great time at AFM and I'll see you in a couple of days. Mm -hmm.